Fuck you, China. Oh, I should warn you, there's going to be some explicit language in this uh, video. So if you're sensitive or, or if you're a snowflake, uh, this video is not for you to watch. But I'll repeat again. Fuck you, China. China recently came out and said um, Australia is the lapdog of the US. Chinese state media for coming out and being the first country to call for the independent inquiry into the coronavirus and by the way for it to be a proper independent inquiry the who shouldn't be running it because they're the lapdog of China but that, that, then again that's another side story um, to, to give you an example um, China have now put 80% tariffs on our barley. India is going to come and take some of our barley, so that'll offset some of the damage. But they've put 80% uh, tariffs on our barley. They've they've suspended trade with some beef importers, and uh, just for us calling for an inquiry that they think um, they can bully us like this. Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some Chinese spies and some Chinese stooges at very high levels of our government. Um, my state of Victoria is called the uh, Socialist Republic of Victoria because it's basically controlled um, by, by the Chinese uh, Communist Party. Um, our, our Premier is called Red Dan Andrews. He signed the Belt and Road uh, project with China in a secret deal. Um, and no one knows the full extent of the deal, but basically what we do know is any major um, infrastructure projects, uh, China has first rights on it ahead of any Australian companies which is an absolute disgrace. I, th I think it's uh, treasonous. I think it's dangerous to national security and it should have been stopped. Well, our Chinese stooge um, the, uh, Victorian treasurer, Tim Pallas, has come out and said that um, China, f China followed through on the uh, threats to hit Australian barley producers with tariffs of up to 80% on Monday night. Right? And the Treasurer said that um, Australia had vilified China by, pursu by pursuing the coronavirus inquiry. So in other words, a A virus that has been was a bio weapon that has been has been uh, released by globalists using China as a hub that China very happily participated in has cost uh, Western economies trillions of dollars, uh, inc including Australia, has shut down our economy, and our own treasurer of our of my state of Victoria is blaming our Prime Minister for pushing for the inquiry. What a fucking disgrace. That is absolute treasonous. That is absolute treason. And the fact that he's come out and said something like that um, should prove that he's a compromised stooge of China and he should be removed from office for national security reasons. Should be, like... Um, our, I don't know why our federal government hasn't reply, uh, replied back with tariffs yet. They need to. And, all, and also, Australia and other Western countries need to stop um, importing products from China. They need to stop buying their cheap crap. And China's economy 
will collapse faster than anyone will eat well, as quick as a flash because China's economy is a false economy it's built off stealing um, intellectual property from other countries and stealing resources from other companies um, through governments over the years that have sold out to China right um, it started back in 1979 when Jimmy Carter gave um, China the Panama Canal. China's economy has been built off false foundations. It's been built off um, other people's wealth. And as soon as people stop um, trading with them and buying from them, they'll collapse because really they've got no economy of their own and it's been built off weak foundations I just want these these are two left-wing articles I just want to give you some examples of the stupidity and the ridiculousness and the kowtowing to China over here okay this is ABC News which is left-wing red meat uh, processes have have beef sales to China suspended as trade um, escalates nothing about China being draconian nothing about um, China uh, bullying a small country like Australia it's just that oh China have suspended uh, Australian beef producers well and nothing about not having a go at China at all, and nothing to say that you know China can now other explore. I mean, Australia can now explore other markets because China are being draconian, kowtowing to China again. And you got this this headline: China tariffs on Australian barley could see export market lose hundreds of millions. Nothing about how how China owes us um, billions and billions of dollars because they because of the, because of their negligence and because of their behaviour um, they've closed down the whole entire world economy. Nothing about how they owe Australia concessions in and millions of dollars in in uh, billions of dollars in money through. Uh, lost trade and the shutting down of Australia's economy, you get headlines like this. This is what I'm telling you. Our Australian media being Chinese propagandists and a disgrace. We need Australian people to stand up. We need Western governments to stand up. We need my state government to stop taking it up the arse from China. We need countries like Canada to stop taking it up the arse from China uh, doing deals. My Victorian Premier uh, Dan Andrews is treasonous uh, and should be bloody exiled. Uh, Justin Trudeau is treasonous and an absolute disgrace and uh, needs to be either uh, I won't say it but dealt with like they did in the old days or exiled one or the other um, and the Chinese government, uh, not the Chinese people, I've nothing against the Chinese people, but um, the Chinese government needs to be dis destroyed and we all need to band together to do it. Thank you very much.